Okay, so video four is a little bit different than the other videos because we're not actually going to be writing any notes and there's not actually any problems that are, um, that are correlated to this video. However, it is extremely important in this section that you start becoming familiar with basic toolkit functions. So please watch this video anyway. Which I realize it's very silly to say because if you're watching me tell you to watch the video, you must be watching the video. Please finish the video. It won't be long. Okay, we are going to be using these toolkit functions like crazy very soon. Sooner than you can, well, I guess temporally it's not that soon. It is in a future week. Okay, um, but uh, so we're just going to talk about these really quickly. Um, and I would recommend bookmarking the specific section or even, I don't know, taking pictures, whatever, um, and having this readily accessible for later. Okay, this is going to be very important later. Um, so we got a constant function right here. This is just a line. Um, no matter what x is, y is always going to be 2, for example, for this example. And we can talk about a couple things. Is this a function? Does it pass a vertical line test? Well, we can look at a uh, vertical line some way. I could make a vertical line on my computer. Um, but right, it does pass the vertical line test. It is not one-to-one, -one, though, right? It, passes, it fails the horizontal line test literally everywhere infinitely many times. If I draw a horizontal line through it, well, it is a horizontal line, right? The horizontal line fails. This constant function is a function, but it's not one-to-one. -one. The identity function is another one. Just lines in general are, are good to be familiar with. The identity function is just slope 1, y-intercept to 0. And again, this is also one-to-one. -one. Sorry, this is also a function. These are all functions. That's hence toolkit functions. But the, this is all, this is one to one. It passes the horizontal line test. Okay. Absolute value function is that V shape. We've talked about absolute values a bit um, in, in previous classes. Um, it is not one to one, right? It fails the horizontal line test. We already kind of looked at that with a different one. Um, and it has that nice V shape. Quadratics, parabolas, these are pretty familiar with most people. Again, not one-to-one. -one. It fails a horizontal line test a bunch of places. Cubic function, we also looked at one of these. This is one-to-one. -one. It's a one-to-one -one function. You can plug in points and plot the points, and you get that its shape kind of looks like this. These next two may be a little bit less uh, familiar to many people. The reciprocal function and the reciprocal squared function. 1 over x and 1 over x squared. This one is 1 to 1. It passes the horizontal line test. This one is not. Also, this function here is an asymptote, a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, and a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. We'll talk more about asymptotes in uh, chapter 5, I think. I forget the numbering system, but we will talk about asymptotes later. Just be familiar with the shape. Just kind of say, oh, I've seen this before. Which you may not have, but now you have. Square root, all right? Kind of looks like half of a sideways parabola, right? If we extend this out, it's kind of a parabola, one to one. Cube root, it's a sideways cubic function. Also one to one, passes the horizontal line test. Okay, so just, uh, just a few things to be aware of. We're going to be referring to these a lot in this whole class. So I wanted to introduce them here because uh, I'm trying to follow the book mostly, and the book does introduce them here, okay? There you go.